So here's a question I never thought we'd have to answer. Where the heck do you put a sawmill? So we bought five acres and thought, <laughs> we're good. We have plenty of room. Yep. I don't think a sawmill's going anywhere no. up there. And I have, to, I have to admit, I'm mourning a little right now. So we planted the... this cover crop and it's finally growing. And now we're thinking about putting something over here. Yeah. Look at that, that's like five inches, four wow. inches. It's pretty good. Look at it go. So we started doing an analysis of the property and realized that we've done a really good job of kind of keeping things where, where they're most useful or practical or out of the way. But we had never planned on having a 30 foot sawmill. And then it's not just a sawmill, you got to put the log somewhere. Right. Which is a whole nother problem. Yes. And then you've got to put, put all the cans and all the beams and everything right. somewhere. And you can't put it where your house is going to be because you're going to have cement trucks and other big machinery and excavators and backhoes over there. So it can't yeah. be there either, which really only leaves one spot for it. So we've got this kind of long slender spot that early on we identified as not really super usable for a lot of other stuff. So we put our septic here. Yeah. So there's our septic tank lid. And so our tanks right here and our drain field actually is pretty, pretty tight to the hillside. Yeah, it's just far enough away from the hillside that, you know, the, the, the water as it comes off the hillside doesn't saturate the leach field. So we're thinking if we put it maybe like just over here, that'd work pretty good. So then comes the problem of logs. So we've got this driveway, right? And we don't have any equipment. And I think we're gonna be using a self-loader log truck. They put the logs right there. And then all we have to do is roll them to right here where Alyssa is and mill them. It's all good in theory. So I guess what we're doing today is we're trying to mark out the dimensions of the sawmill. Basically it has four or six little feet they're yeah, probably bigger than that. Per bed extension. And we don't want to put it directly on the soil. We really yeah. would rather put them on pavers. So we want to make sure that we're good to go when the sawmill arrives and we don't have to worry about it then. So that's what we got to do today. Yeah, our fear if we put it straight on the soil and we roll those big logs on there, I think the legs are pretty small. Rob said they're only about this big. And so if we roll a monster log yeah. on there, we think it's just going to sink. And I don't think you want to spend all that time trying to level the bed constantly. So we're hoping that we can get kind of like this paver with a bigger foot and that'll kind of spread that weight out a little bit. That shirt looks really good on you against the blue sky. Oh, thanks. So I'm about done for tonight, losing daylight. But so far, oh hey bugafish. Hi. Oh he's lovey. He's lovey. Till mom starts the drone, then he'll be out of here. Oh, here she comes. Run bugaboo, run. Well, we have an absolutely ridiculous amount of work to get done today in preparation for the uh, band mill workshop tomorrow. Alyssa is gonna give me a hand. Yay, Yay. Alyssa, Yay thank hands. you. So we've gotta get logs decked over here and we have this little toy, boop, that's gonna help us do it. But the logs, unfortunately, are yonder, backside of the property. So Alyssa is gonna help me get those on this trailer over here, and then, I'm not sure what we're working on after that, do you know? We have no idea. One thing at a time.
Nice. Well, I'd say it was a hugely successful afternoon. We're hoping that with just a cant hook, I know it's a lot of labor, the sawmill is gonna be located right here. We should be able to just roll all of those logs over there. Hopefully this will be a good test run for when things get serious. Hopefully we have a fantastic workshop tomorrow. We're excited to meet everyone and share this experience. Although I have to say everything went smoothly and that in our book is a fantastic day. What we want to do is we're going to do a preset on these legs. So you have a square bowl, or excuse me, a square nut and a regular nut. Square one is the top and the adjuster is the bottom. Those rest of those legs can get set up. Time to go home. <laughs> no, 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 I want to see the saw in action. It seems like if your pads are leveled, this would definitely go quicker. I can see that, would you agree, if we had a level concrete slab? We yeah. were talking to Rob about that, and I'm like, I don't know, Rob, I don't know. I would be afraid of pouring a slab. I think we can pour one in the future, though. So what has to happen over here? Gas tank. Gotta oh. have some fuel. It didn't, you had to put it in, it didn't come with it. Well, it comes with it. Yeah, I, I, think, I think there's an extra. That's an extra, an accessory. It was either that or somebody has to stand here and make the noise. <laughs> sure is a pretty motor. Horsepower. Careful, there's a little fuel. Okay, so we got to figure out which one's the return line. This the biggest one is the supply line. That's got a fil filter on it. Supply line. The big black one. Yeah. And then, do we know? The clear one is the lubricant line that goes up yeah, to the water tank. Yeah, it goes up tank. here, which is going to go up here. Work that socket. Yeah. Get in there. Work that sucker. Okay, so over by the trailer, there's a gallon jug. Yeah. That uh, has like a soapy Pine substance. Pine stuff or yep. whatever. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That can get filled up and dumped. Okay. Figure about ten ounces. Of you know, we whatever. It would okay. be that Rob was mean and he brought with catalogs for remote, everybody. With remote control that he can just go off to the and side. You're and you're under no obligation to take it, right? You're doing it because you want to. <laughs> this? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know that I'm going to take this. I, I might take that. Yeah. I really want that. I like Is uh, leveling this pretty hard? Well, to the eye, if all the legs are tight and these feel good here, yep. and then to the naked eye, you look at it and it's level. That's, would roll it That's level. So we're just about done with setup. It went pretty well. And I think we're gonna take a mandatory well, lunch break. Four, actually, guys. <laughs> Make everyone get some calories and oh, wait, some water. So everybody survived lunch, no casualties, which is good. So now we get to actually play with this big toy, which is what everybody came for. We told everyone they can go home if they want, but no yeah. one took us up on the offer. <laughs> they know how to get home, they got here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. All right, let's do it. So the manual, we have a safety setup operations. Okay. This first part of it, you'll be in a lot. There's uh, triangle icons, recommended hours okay. for uh, doing service. And then uh, parts, breaks down, information on the motor, options okay. you can get for them, and blades. Got it. So you got a pretty big blade. There's three ways to pull it out, two ways are wrong. So you're telling me the easy method isn't just to throw it and let it oh. align itself? You can do that too. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to take these two fingers right here and I'm going to tuck them in. Okay. And then I'm going to grab these two, hold them, okay. my thumb, 
let go, and then I'm gonna come over and grab this one. Okay, I see. Oh. And then we're out. This is definitely tight. Is it okay to turn it to get it on there? There we go. You want the back the back of the blade, okay, to be flush with the back of the flange of okay. I mean of the roller. Ask if your beard makes you hotter on a hot day. It does not, actually. It doesn't. It's pretty comfortable. It's pretty nice. It's one of those things. Yeah. My, my, I wouldn't have it, but my wife insists. Really? Yes. <laughs> so you're on that roller. Is that pretty good? Oh, a little more? There you go. Go ahead and run this down. Is a particular size you're looking we, we to We like do? to get the largest possible cant out of there, so I, so I think we can do it, Rob. Uh, so I'm just kind of wanting to eyeball where a 10 inch cant camera. would be. 10's at my finger right here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Got their ears. Got a square in the way So, Everybody pay attention, learn on my wood. We get a two by two. <laughs> yeah. We only got a two by two out of this I, one. Uh, <laughs> if we get a one by 12, I'm gonna be a little red. We got a one by 12. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, hit this saw head that direction and kick that off and then let's see what's going on with um, Just kick it off, nothing fancy. Ooh, wow. That is so pretty. Ow. Look, some nice blue in there too. So right up in where you guys are at, you're gonna see the pattern. I see it here. Yeah. Yep. Not bad though. No, not at all. Not bouncing or anything. Yeah, my consistency. But you can feel it. Where is the chatter at? Well, I was I, I was too. thinking because I stopped. You can see a little. But it's little. very little. Yeah. So I had to adjust little. that blade guide arm, so I kept pushing here. So when I bumped the blade guide arm in, I was a hesitant where I stopped. So that's where I was wondering if I was going to have any chatter. Okay. No, not really. And I don't know. That one came out pretty good. All right, boys. Well, that is so pretty. That's Power sweet. Levers. That's sweet. Is it pretty easy to roll it? Yeah, One person? I feel better now. Yep. It's just, I mean, it's just an easy push. It's just oh, easy push. Clamp. Okay. Show so me your like power stance here. Do a Sith Lord. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Wow. Never touched one, so yes. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> into it as you're levering it. <laughs> <laughs> One bias, maybe? Yeah. They feel like a wet noodle almost. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye guys. <laughs> Here. You know how you know how to reach us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'll, I'll send it. I'll like a screenshot of that and I'll send it to you. Thank you. A souvenir. <laughs> Bye. Have a good drive back. Thank you. We'll see you guys in church. Yes. 
Smile. <laughs> you had fun. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. Yes. Isn't it smell good? Okay, everybody smile. That's that new house smell. <laughs> We're sending Roman and Anna home with a board. Yeah. We expect photos, guys. Okay. Need some kind of a craft. <laughs> we brought the truck. <laughs> right. Well, what a day. We had all these wonderful folks come and help us get the wood miser set up and running. We made some pine and we made one fur beam. It took a little longer to set up than I thought, but the experience was awesome. We're glad that Rob and Deanne could join us and all these awesome folks. So now we're all gonna go grab a beer. It's dinner, well-deserved. It's been a scorcher today and we're super excited to share this mill with people in the future. If you're watching this and you're one of those folks that came and joined us for the workshop, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being safe. We enjoyed having you here and we look forward to hopefully having you at a future workshop and sharing this debt-free home build with us. Have you been out just mobbing around on the excavator this morning? Oh yeah, 7 a.m. mobbing around on my excavator. I fit right in with the locals. Nice. Waved to everybody on the way by. I'm really happy. I discovered after like months that I can control this with my feet. Oh yeah. Before I was standing here going like a mile and I was like, God, my arms hurt. Switch like, ugh. <laughs> Driving by, I'm like, ugh. Show us how the feet work. Forward. Yum. Reverse. Do reverse. Ah. Oh, see? I don't know that I realize I can back up. <laughs> yeah. Come on, excavator. But we have to give this one back today. Yeah, it's got to go back. So we got to get some logs done. Come on, we got to get work done here, people. We got all these logs. The hard part really isn't actually getting the logs onto the mill. It's getting the cants off the mill because we make them square and square things don't roll gotcha. very good. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful morning, completely new day. In fact, it's been two days. It's been a couple of days. And you know what I couldn't help but notice this morning? The darn logs have not milled themselves. We put them right next to the sawmill thinking the closer we put them, the greater the chance that they'll just mill themselves. Well, they didn't. So, time to make some sawdust. First up, we got this little tiny blue pine guy. We gotta get him put into boards and then get him off the mill so we can use the excavator before it goes home and get one of these big guys up here. So, you need to adjust the height to eight and one eight. And you measured that on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, change it down to eight and one eighth on that, on that little mark right there. Get down, get down, down. There you go. excavator got yoinked from us. Yeah. They took it on time, darn it. <sighs> so now we're not sure how we're gonna get that off. It's pretty big, so might just have to sit until next time we have an excavator. Yep. But we could finish milling it. Yep. Let's mill it. Well, there you have it. We've done a lot of test cuts. It's been a really great week and weekend. It's pretty surreal to have this on our property. We were loving and enjoying the chainsaw mill, but you can't deny that this opens up a lot more doors for us. And I think it'll help us yeah. build our debt-free home with ease. Not only that, but we feel that this will build many homes, yeah. whether it's for us, friends, family, 
I mean, the enjoyment doesn't stop at us. Yeah, there aren't too many tools in the world where uh, you can build a community around them. So yep. it's exciting to have this thing. It's, I don't think it's just that it's a sawmill. It's that it's like, it represents opportunity for us. Mm -hmm. um, empowerment, I guess, is a, maybe a better word. We're surrounded by resources, but the ability to capture and use those resources to build something that keeps us from using mortgages. Honestly, a few years ago, I knew that wood came from trees, but that was kind of where my knowledge ended. I had no idea that you could just cut a tree down in the forest, take four sides off of it, and have structural components for your home. And that's not your full home. Obviously, there's siding and things, which you can do with wood in a sawmill, but it helps get you started. And for us, we really feel like that's gonna make this home build affordable and even me, I don't have a ton of physical strength. Not that Jesse's much better when it comes to trees and stuff. Can I say that? <laughs> Who's stronger than a tree? Come on. But I feel that with a chainsaw and some equipment and just knowing what tools you have at your disposal, you actually can create a lot. And it, once you learn how to do it, it's not that intimidating. I mean, just a little bit, but that'll go away with time. <laughs> Once you start down this path, though, you start to see resources everywhere. Yep. And so it's a way of thinking. A sawmill is just a small part of it. But yeah, it's exciting to have this piece of equipment. It's the ability, I guess is yeah. the word, to move forward on our dream of building a debt-free home. And this is just one more tool that helps us toward that goal. So with that said, we are still planning on getting our home up and dried in before winter. It's a lofty goal, but yeah. so far things are going well. We plan on doing a huge milling month where all we do is mill 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 right now we're in the process of finalizing our plans yeah, and they're very close to being finalized and buildable yeah we'll do a lot more videos but it's going to be an exciting year so we hope you will join us and stick with us through this entire project